Hi everybody, welcome to a new episode of Bass Habits. Today we're gonna to talk about the mighty Dusty Hill, bass player of ZZ Top. ZZ Top are probably the longest running American band with no personal change. From 1969 to 2021, it's been the same three guys playing the same three chords. Their style never changed. For over 50 years, ZZ Top have delivered their unique mixture of blues, rock and sly humorous lyrics that combine with simple but effective stage choreography and of course their iconic outfit made them into one of the most popular rock bands of all times. Like any other good blues band, ZZ Top are guitar based. The band revolves around the figure of singer and lead guitarist Billy Gibbons. But even if Gibbons licks are the initial draw to ZZ Top, what's going on underneath is a groove about as thick as those beards. At the center of it, it's bass player Dusty Hill, who together with drummer Frank Beard, lays down a tight and perfect foundation for Billy Gibbons guitar and vocals. How does he do it? Well, number one, the tone. Not only does Dusty lay down the groove and stay right in the pocket with Frank, but he also fills out the band's sound so the Gibbons can have the freedom to solo. His bass tone is massive and he plays more chords than you might think. The key word with ZZ Top is simplicity and Dusty's gear and style can be defined as uncomplicated. For the majority of his career, Dusty played a precision Fender bass with only one pickup, going through Marshall JMP1 tube guitar preamps. And though on the records his bass tone is quite clean, when playing live Dusty pulls out a massive distorted sound. It's not something you might expect in a band like ZZ Top. Even though Dusty plays with his fingers, the sound that comes out is a really dirty hybrid of bass and rhythm guitar and at times it reminds me of Lemmy. My idea is that this type of live sound was used to make up for the lack of rhythm guitar. On ZZ Top albums, guitars are overdubbed and during solos, there's always a thick layer of sound. Pretty different from the stripped down setup that the band has when playing live. Unfortunately, there's not many isolated tracks available, but the good news is that their 1980 Rock Palace show has just been re-uploaded on YouTube, with the bass guitar mixed really loud, so after you watch this video, I recommend you check out the full show. Link in the description. Number 2. The Shuffle Probably 80% of ZZ Top songs are based on shuffle beats. This particular type of beat is normally accompanied by a walking bass line, like for example Steve Ray Vaughan's Pride and Joy. But the trademark rhythm section of ZZ Top relies on the bass playing root following exactly the drum pattern. If you want to lay down a ZZ Top groove, this rhythm figure is something that you had to master and I guarantee you, it's way harder than it seems, especially considering Dusty plays with his fingers, so you better grab a metronome and start practicing. Number 3. Octaves Though Dusty's lines are uncomplicated, sometimes he uses octaves to create a little movement, for example during the solo of Just Got Paid. or the octave bass line of I thank you. Or the little chromatic runs of Tube Snake Boogie. Of the solo of Beer Drinkers and Hellraisers. Number 4. Bass on the downbeat, guitar on the upbeat. 
Another recurring theme in the music of ZZ Top is the bass and drums playing on the downbeat while the guitar's main accents are on the upbeat. This cool combination creates the foundation of many of their hits. There are a lot of cool little nuances here and there, for example the slap bass line of THUG. Or the way Dusty uses a syncopation to push the main guitar riff. The intro of Just Got Paid is also worth mentioning, with its cool harmonization between bass and guitar. before going into a super thick 16 root notes groove. Once again, playing with your fingers and keeping this type of rhythm tight and perfect is not as easy as it seems. The use of chords is sporadic, but when it happens, it's epic. And finally, check out this awesome pentatonic run in support of Billy's solo on Nasty Dogs and Funky Kings. Despite the simplicity of his style, Dusty Hill is considered by everybody a good player. He knows what to do to make the song sound good. That means laying down a fat groove that allows Billy Gibbons the space and freedom to do his thing. Hill and Gibbons worked as a kind of double act, looking similar and employing simple stage choreographies that Hill himself described as low energy, high impact, and together with Frank Beard, created the unmatched classic sound of that little old band from Texas. Thank you very much for watching, please leave a comment, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram.